Hey everybody, Mark Agnese here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to the final guitar of the day for the week. Woo! Oh, what a week it's been. It's been exhausting. Lots of changes, lots of new things. Luckily, I have a... Get it, get it. Oh, it's been a jittery stratter day, kids. <laughs> um, let's see, what do we got going here? Uh, Today's the final guitar of the day for the week, so make sure you submit your uh, your contest entries to Jen at normansrareguitars.com uh, for all the set lists for this week for next week's giveaway. Uh, Mikey Mojo already won, so we got the uh, formalities out of the way. It's open to everybody now. Also, don't forget Jen's new thing about um, you know us reposting your videos for our content on Sunday and Monday. Make sure you hashtag your videos, Norman's Rare Guitars repost. Oh, so, it'll be reposting on Instagram, don't forget. They'll be reposting on Instagram on yeah. Sundays and Mondays since we don't have new content coming out those days. Uh, and also don't forget, free shipping on the weekend for Father's Day. Uh, anything uh, for uh, domestic and international on all orders over 75 bucks. Uh, yeah. First I'm time doing, ever. First time ever for the free shipping <laughs> on the Norman's Rare Guitars thing. And of course, it's free shipping uh, for all the domestic orders on marketingmusic.com for any of the you know, stupid stuff that, that I always wear. <laughs> um, let's see. Father's Day is tomorrow. I'm a father of two now. This is my first Father's Day with two kids. Um, this is not like a, a reservation. It's kind of holiday. Mother's Day is the, is the big deal. Father's Day, just let me like... I just kind of want to sleep in and watch World Cup, <laughs> and, and like, and just be left alone for a little bit. I think she booked me a massage for tomorrow. Oh, it's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be a good weekend. It's freaking Stratterday. I told you guys yesterday it was gonna be rad. It's yeah, like, it's pretty cool. I haven't been this excited about a Strat in a while. <laughs> it's freaking Stratterday. Wait till you get a load of this. Check this. This is from 1965. This is an original Fender Stratocaster. Custom color, harvest gold. Original hang tags. What? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? <laughs> nah, man, I ain't kidding you, bro. Hang tags, what? Hang tags, strap, freaking warranty card. Cable. So cool. Dude. Seriously? Yeah. So, check this out. Um, so, we've talked about Stratocasters at length for weeks and weeks and months and years of this show. We've talked about custom colors pretty regularly as well. Um, never had one in Harvest Gold. Which uh, color you'll see around 64, 65. A um, little more gold than the Shoreline Gold. The Shoreline Gold is very, very pale. Look at this thing. Wow. L-Series. Uh, but this is right towards the end. So we got Transition Logo. We got Pearl Dots. We're out of the clay dots. Uh, we're in the white uh, three-ply guards. We're out of the mint green. We are like right at the end before CBS takes on full production. We know when it's full CBS, when we get out of the L series numbers and we start to go into the ones that have what we call the F plate, where that Fender F is actually etched into that back plate. So what's the catch, Mark? Well, the catch. I have pictures, we'll take a look. So here's this guitar opened up. There is uh, one little spot, and you can see here, original paint stick. Basically shot over sunburst, which would not be uh, uncommon. We've got actually December 64, next stamp. Um, this is the concern. This extra screw hole here, which we, we don't know why it's there. Maybe there was another pick guard on it at some point, although this is an original guard. I don't know why someone would put a new guard on it and it would only have one screw hole there. There's no markings of any factory refinish. The finished texture looks right. You can shim from the factory. I mean, there's just this one little era of doubt as to what this is uh, with the uh, extra screw under the guard. So this guitar was kind of purchased as there was an issue and it's gonna be sold as that issue and it will not be sold at kind of the collector custom color price that it normally would be sold at. 
um, because of that gray area. But man, look at that color. It's gorgeous. When you see enough of them, sometimes you can just go, man, that doesn't look right. And sometimes you go, man, that kind of looks right. This is one of those ones where like, it looks right, man. Plus, it just, you know, the little things, the case test, does the wear on the neck kind of match the body, the parts, the hardware, what's the case look like? Man, it all kind of, it all kind of matches, you know? It's not like a minty clean body with like a, with like an all worn out neck and stuff. And it's like where you have to piece it together. Body got just enough wear and checking on it to kind of look about, about the same as the neck. Oh man, it's a mystery, but man, it's fun when you see the cool colors, a little bit different than like your candy reds or Olympic whites, Lake Placid Blues. Once you get into the golds and stuff, it starts getting fun. That's when you get the real rare stuff. Let's go to the couch, man. It's freaking Stratter Day. It's almost Father's Day weekend. Let's go plug this guy in, see what it can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 1965 Fender Stratocaster, original custom color, Harvest Gold with the original hang tags. We're going through the uh, Fender Custom Shop 64 Custom Deluxe Reverb today. I'll EQs at noon, just a little bit of reverb. Uh, amp volume's on about five too. Just right up the middle on everything, man. Let's start up on that neck pickup all by itself. Let's see what we got going there. <laughs> We're going into the middle position, uh, bo uh, just the middle pickup all by itself. Let's see what we got going on there. Pick up wide freaking open all by itself. Let's see what we got going down in the bridge. Sixty-five 
Original Fender Stratocaster, custom color, Harvest Gold, original hang tags. Yeah, there's that extra screw hole under the guard. We can't explain it. It's there. We're selling it accordingly. If you guys have questions, give us a call here at the shop. There is another week of Guitar of the Day in the bag. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check these guitars all out online at normansrareguitars.com. Don't forget, free shipping all Father's Day weekend. Any order over $75. Free international or domestic shipping on all your t-shirt and Norman's Rare Guitars merchandise needs. Have a fantastic Father's Day to all the dads out there. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday for another week of Guitar of the Day. You guys have a great weekend. See you next Tuesday. Peace. Bye.